This is one of the most fascinating training aids I have ever come across. I got sent this a couple of weeks ago and I've been testing it out ever since. And honestly, I wouldn't put it on the channel if I didn't think it worked. And this is mental. Okay, so if you need help releasing the golf club or even just understanding what the golf club should be doing through, let's be fair, the most important part of the golf swing, then this could be the training aid for you. It is mental. Gem Golf, you have come up with an absolute gem of a training aid. Right, so in this here box, we've got an instruction guide of how to put the gem on. We're not going to need that for the video because I'm going to show you how you do it. And basically, what this does, yeah, are you waiting for this? Wait for this, guys. It swings the golf club for you. All right? Now, Mark, okay, you need to use your own body. You need to turn your body, but this will put the golf club in the position. Now, when you look at this, honestly, you're looking at a couple of rods and a clamp, and you're thinking, what on earth is that used for? Here we go. Strap yourselves in because this is mega. One of the main things about this video is understanding how the balance of the golf club works. So when I just hold it with one finger, you'll notice the whoop, toe of the club is down to the ground, correct? So what the gem golf is going to do is going to put this golf club in the perfect position. So if I was to grip that now, that wouldn't be the correct position. So the balance isn't set up to get you in the perfect takeaway position. But the gem is. Look at that. I'm obviously holding with two fingers because there's a weight there, but the toe of the club is now up. The balancing of the rod and the ball have got the toe of the club up. So if I now grip the club, I am now balanced into the perfect takeaway position. Basically, as I set it up, this rod is directly underneath the grip, okay? So the toe of the club is up. If I take my setup to a golf ball, I would put, I would feel it there. So I can't really feel how I'm doing it because what's happening is the rod is helping me get the club into position. It feels weightless to be able to do it. Now, if I try and close the face on the way back, I have now got to work against the weight in the rod and I can tell you that's not comfortable. If you're a golfer that fans the club face open, again, you'll feel the weight of the club and the weight of the rod. It's not gonna really want you to do this. What this does is it puts the club into position for you. All I'm doing is rotating my body, turning my hips and my shoulders, and the rod lets the puts the club head into the right position. And if I go through the swing, so if I was to go through and hit the ball at impact, you would find me in this position as well with the toe of the club up and the rod pointing down. Funnily enough, and this is great time for me to do this video, I'm reading so much on, online about golfers trying to hold the club face off through impact. Now that's generally a bit of a feel thing and golf, maybe with golfers that potentially flip the golf club. And I'm a bit of a flipper, so I would do that. Now, that also is not the correct place because look what's happened. For me as a flipper, that's in the wrong position. For me as a golfer trying to learn to hold the face off, again, it's in the wrong position. That club face sends the ball to the right for me and that club face sends the ball with a hook. So even for me, that a golfer that doesn't necessarily need help with release, if anything, I need help to understand where to release it to and that to gauge into that feeling. If I can, and this is a feeling I've been trying to do for a long time, and I've often toyed with the idea of trying to hold it off through impact. And honestly, I can't do it because I swing left and my hands release the golf club. And you've got to release the golf club. It creates speed, it creates power, and it also aids the angle of attack of the club head down into the golf ball. If I try and hold off through impact, I'm just leading with the hosel or I'm really over-releasing it still because that's what I naturally want to do and I hit the golf ball left. This training aid doesn't let you do that. It sets you up. There, I can't feel it and then I can't feel it into impact. Honestly, it has blown my mind this past week and I would never bring this to a YouTube video if I didn't think it was very, very good. It is absolutely awesome. Honestly, awesome. So, within the box, you get three rods. Long, medium, small. Long is great for the first time that you're using it to really give you the maximum sensation, the maximum feeling 
of the, the rod as it works through the swing. The medium is obviously when you're feeling a little bit more comfortable and you're getting better at doing it, just like anything really, the better you start to get it, you make it a little bit harder. It won't be as effective as the long rod, but you can still definitely feel it. And the short rod, you don't even put the ball in this. This is purely for a training aid. I'm gonna to come to that later on. It's a more of a visual aid. So one of the best practices for this is to take 10 practice swings, just go from waist to waist, or let's say, let's say chest to chest, and you just start to feel the club drop down from the top of the backswing, release. Drop down, release. So let's do 10. Okay, we're gonna go one. Two, I'm still using my body, still getting maximum rotation. Four, I'm starting to feel my hands start working, but I don't have to manipulate it. I'm not holding it off. I'm just allowing the, the weight of the rod to work me through the impact zone. So I'm releasing the club down onto where the golf ball would be, and I'm keeping it square. I'm then gonna take the rod off, pop it on the deck, and I'm going to try and get that same swing going again. Oh my God. Going again. That was, uh, the feeling was crazy because the weight's gone, but I was still moving the golf club around that same, the same way. And for me, I didn't feel what I normally feel, which is that flip. I hate it. It's horrible. It's disgusting. That time I felt this. So as a practice session, you would go back and you would stick this on and you would do it 10 times again. And, it, and you start, the more you're doing it, the more you're starting to learn and build feel. And we all know in golf, if the more, if the more feel we have, the more repeatable it's going to be. For me, I can feel the club working down here. I can feel this rod really kind of pull me down. And then I can feel the rotation of my body and the club is a lot more under control. It's a more in front of my chest. Again, club head for me gets on the outside of my body. Here it's more in front of my chest. So everything starts to work round perfectly. Again, let's pretend I've done the 10, set, the 10 practice swings. And we take the setup, swing, draw. It's absolutely mental, honestly. I promise you, it's, ab it's just blown my head off, okay? Crazy. Right, so now we're going to go into the really small rod. It's super light, actually. I keep feeling like I'm going to drop it. It's really small, all right? So you don't actually put the ball on the end. You're just literally using it as a visual aid. So when I set up there, I want to try and make sure that's bang in line with my club face. Here we go. So I take my setup there. Apparently my eyes are wrong. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Just take my setup, swing it back. See how it's pointing upwards? Perfect, pointing upwards. And I can actually now hit golf shots with this. And a really good drill that I actually use, I've used in the past with golfers to kind of help them understand the general takeaway position. It's like a bit of a, just a bit of a preset drill. So set up, that's gonna be straight up. Preset, so this again is pointing straight up to the sky. So preset it, check it, swing it and then rotate through. The three are some of the best, cleanest strikes I've hit in a long time. But I promise you, I can't promise you enough, this is absolutely mental. Check out their website, gem.golf. More information on there, I'm sure. I don't think I've missed anything, but we're gonna be looking at this and we're gonna be talking about this small one in particular and how it can improve and affect your short game. So stay tuned for later videos in the future. But for the moment, talking about how you can release the golf club better, how you can best understand your takeaway, how you can best understand the positioning of the club as you come through the golf ball, this has got all of the feels. Obviously, like everything, you've got to practice it, you've got to learn the, the, pre, the, the body positioning and the, the, the feels that you get as you're doing it. It's, a very, it's very easy on and off, and that's the key thing for me is when I'm, when I'm practicing, and I've done loads of practice with this over the past week because at the end of the day, guys, you know I'm trying to break 30, right? So if I find a training aid that I like and I enjoy and it's making a positive difference to my golf game, I'm 
doing the best I possibly can to break 30. So look how it's so quick, so easy to pop the rod back in, have my practice swings, feel it there, turn through. I can just feel that there and I felt like my hands released it too much and I felt the rod fling up and over. So I've got to just be careful that I'm in the right position as I go through. Then I can easily take the rod off seven or eight spins and hit my golf shot put the rod back on so it's very quick on and off which is ideal and it gives you the feelings that you need to do as you can probably tell i'm probably a little bit over enthusiastic about how much i love this thing but it is absolutely quality give it a try check out the website if you need any more information if you've got any questions for me on this please do drop them in the comments section below gem.golf You've nailed it. It's one of the most exciting tr swing training aids I think I've ever used for ease and for, for me personally, the positions it gets me into that I'm trying so hard to do, it ticks my boxes and I absolutely love it. Guys, give it a try as well. If you want, check out the website, but from a fantastic Dubai. I'm loving being here in the winter. So thank you, Dubai, for having me. I appreciate you. Also, if you are new to the channel, please do hit the like, please do subscribe, loads of content to come, and I'll see you next time.